Hi, and welcome to Bits of Blender. I'm here with my boy Richard. Hi! And we're going to show you a little bit of a different tip today. It's not exactly on how to do something in Blender, but it's uh, how to do something with different versions of Blender. Uh, for example, there's lots of tutorials on, on the web, and mm. they're made with different versions of Blender. Sometimes when you're learning, it's easiest to use the exact same version but if yeah. you just went and got blender you probably got the most current version and your tutorial might be one from uh some versions back yeah you know for example some of my uh earlier tutorials are uh versions 245 and 246 uh and what if you uh want to use that exact same version but you've already installed the latest which is like 248a uh, what you can do is go to blender.org and see where it says download now. Just go ahead and click on that. Then go, instead of getting one of these, go to older versions. Ooh. And on this page, you need to go to the release archive, which is here. So then... In the release archive, you can see all the versions of Blender. Wow. So, for example, you could go to 245. And then for version 245, you can see there's the Mac OS X and FreeBSD and Solaris and Linux and, uh, and, and Windows. You've got the EXE, which is like an installer, mm -hmm. and you've got a zip. Well, let's say you already have it installed. You don't want to overwrite that and go revert to the older version. You just want to use the uh, older version, uh, you know, to go through whatever tutorial it is that you found. Yeah. So what I did is I already uh, downloaded this. Download the zip for, for Windows users. And when you download the zip, let me show my desktop icons. Here's the zip. We'll go ahead and extract it here. Pop that open. That's our Windows 245. And then you can just run Blender from here. Double click on it. And hopefully you're able to see that. It was cut off a little bit because it opened full screen. But that's uh, version 245 is what we've got installed now. Here. Every time I move, <laughs> it just disappears. Uh, you'll have to trust me on that. And you can do that with as many versions as you want and run multiple versions of Blender. And then, instead of double-clicking on a .blend file, go to File Open to open it. That's it. Okay. See ya. Bye.